Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. In today's tutorial, we are basically learning about uh, how to pass arrays as parameters to a function. Um, and we, this is actually a continuation of this tutorial. Uh, we have been uh, learning about it in the previous uh, video as well. If you haven't watched the part one of that t this tutorial, I would recommend that you watch that first. Uh, the link of the that tutorial must be on the screen uh, right now. Um, so let's get started. So what we are trying to do here in this particular pro uh, uh, tutorial is basically write a program where you are we are going to uh, we have this array of integers which basically is holding the number of days in each of the months of a year uh, of the of a year basically uh, 12 of them obviously so we declared an array of integer with 12 elements and each element basically is representing the number of days in the corresponding month so and we have hard coded those numbers right here okay and then we are basically going to call into a function that we are going to write now and we, we we haven't written it yet but we are imagining that we have a function that would do that what is it gonna do I'm going to give this function uh, this array and what it's going to do is basically it's going to add up all the elements in there okay for me and then it will basically return me um, uh, the sum of all these numbers so look at this I mean I'm just imagining all these things I have never written that function yet and I don't know how it's going to add on all this and it really doesn't matter that's the beauty of writing functions okay this is also called top-down design basically what you do is uh, you start from the top which is basically the main function and then you just write your program right there without worrying about you know finishing it up so I'm just going to imagine that there is a function that exists that will do that and then I'm going to pass it this array just by passing the name of the array here okay and that's perfect call this is how you pass the parameter to to the function okay are we done here with this tutorial no because we need to learn to to write how to basically write this function how this function definition is going to look like so that it can accept this uh, array as a parameter but for now we know that you know I can make a call like this by passing this this uh, array what it's going to do it's going to compute the sum of all these numbers right here right and then it's going to it's going to s return the sum by name and that would be the total number of days in the year so let's create another integer to hold the total number of days so total number of days in year okay and if you want you could initialize it to zero but if you don't even do even if you don't I mean it's always a good idea to initialize every variable that you create okay but you know if you don't that's okay too because we know that we are going to initialize it with the value that this function is going to return in fact you could basically I've never done this in this uh, in these tutorials you could basically write then and there at the initialization time you could write something like this too this is perfectly uh, at the declaration time you could do this too this is perfect syntax so you could basically not only initialize an integer with the with the constant number you could initialize it with the value returned by a function call you could do that too so you know if you if you don't understand this that's fine too you could basically always do this you declare that function uh, that that variable first and then you basically assign it uh, the value returned by that function call okay and and that's it at that point after running you know after getting done with this statement this function call n days in year will have the number of days in the, in, in a year and then we are going to print out the number of days in a year is a number that's gonna go here and then the next line and then what is the value what variable holds the value of the total number of days in the year n days in year okay this is it this is our program except of course we don't know we don't have the definition for this one if you com try to compile it the compiler is going to complain that it doesn't know about this function but the point is that look at this the beauty of the of writing functions is basically you have you have your program at you know at least you know to certain extent finished without worrying about the details of the program and then more beauty of this thing is basically then you start writing the fu this function 
start declaring this function compute days in a year okay without worrying about the rest of the program all you are you have to worry about is to how to write this function what is that function it takes an array of integers and it adds them uh, adds all the elements together and returns the sum that's what it does okay and you have no idea what the rest of the program is for so that's another beauty of the of writing function it breaks your big task into little pieces smaller pieces that you can handle better okay this program itself is a pretty small program by itself so you don't really need to worry about this you know it's pretty small you could all you know you could if you wished you could add it right there but you know you, when you're writing bigger programs you will have to worry about this about um, you know breaking your big task the whole program into smaller tasks smaller pieces which we, which will be implemented by functions and some modules you know we will learn about different modules you know we will learn about modules later on but you know for now modularity is uh, limited up to functions for us because we have learned about functions but you know functions play a very important role in writing a modular structured code okay so let's write that function so first thing we have to do is to declare the prototype of the function prototype is the header of the function how the function is going to look like so first thing we have to write is the type of the value that it's going to return what would be the type of the value that it's going to return what would the sum of the number of days of each of the months it's going to be integer okay because it's the sum of integers sum of integers is always going to be an integer so let's write int okay and then compute days in a year which is the name of the function and how are we going to pass the array to this function it's very simple it's just like the way we declared it okay you could just pass it just like that you know you could basically do this right here and the name of the array just like before when we were read uh, when we learned about other type of you know basic types how to pass basic types like integer character and stuff like that we learned that the name could be any name it's a dummy name okay and it's valid only in this function and it has nothing to do with this um, uh, this function if you are passing it by value if you're passing it as the pointer to it you know if you're passing the address of the variable then yes if you mod modify it inside it will modify the value here but if you're passing by value if you modify that value here it's not going to va modify the value of the variable which basically resides in the caller because this variable has the scope of this function okay so this variable that we are declaring it's an array again just like we declared it here okay and it has the scope of this here this function itself and if you want you could call it any other name if you want okay you could call it you know just days right here like this let's call it days just to emphasize that this variable has nothing to do with uh, the this array variable here okay and other thing is that here it is important at the time of declaration that you specify how many elements it has because this is where this is first time it's like it this array is born this array is created okay the compiler needs to know how many elements it has so that's why that's why you have to basically mention how many elements this array is going to have here since it will be passed and since it has already been uh, created before in the caller you don't even really need to declare this the number of elements so you could basically just very well say this in int days and square brackets but square brackets are important for to tell the compiler that it is an array if you don't put in square brackets what is it going to be it's going to be just simple uh, integer it's not going to be an array and the compiler will be confused if you'll start using the uh, accessing the elements of this array inside so we'll stop here we are running out of time we'll continue it in the next tutorial please keep watching thank you so much